Hey folks, so today I'm doing an unboxing of some stuff I bought online. Um, this is from a warehouse find dealer uh, who I've dealt with for many years. Sold him tons of stuff, bought stuff from him. So I bought some more bits and pieces. I've got a customer I think for some of it. So I figured why not we'd buy some and uh, show you what I uh, picked up and let's see Whoop. let's get it open here all well packed and get this untaped here all right a lot of the stuff is kind of a paper product um or most of it or maybe even all of it i can't remember exactly what i bought it's been a little bit so here we go. Let me get wrapping out of here. So it's mainly, yeah, mainly paper product. Um, this one's a poster of Sunray cigars. So if you see these, these little paper signs, they're actually a warehouse find. Uh, there was a large quantity of them found and. Uh, you can obtain them fairly inexpensively. I forget what this cost me, $5 or $8, something like that, or something like that. Um, I'll just check my invoice here. And yeah, Sunrise Cigar. And let's see, Sunrise Cigar cost me, no, even less, $2.50. So I can put that out for 20 bucks and still be doing just fine. So there's that and let's see then the rest of it are these uh cool die cut uh soda fountain ice cream product signs or uh they're meant to stick on soda fountain walls and such so yeah i got some cool cool bits um oh this one's all uh in a package here yet but uh yeah and a lot of them cost me a dollar 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 two dollars uh there was a pack of uh um hmm, there was a pack of them a group of 25 that cost me ten dollars so yeah and uh, i think that's what this bargain bag envelope consists of is 25 different pieces of die cut uh advertising for a soda fountain yeah oh no this is labels this was a bargain bag of labels that's what this was a lot of paper product um what i'm going to do is move the box here and then go through the paper product um well maybe we should Go through these first these are all kind of cool so but uh these i have a i think i have a buyer for he owns an ice cream parlor that uh, is all decorated in vintage so i'm thinking he'll be interested in a bunch of these so and at five dollars a piece type thing i think i can do just fine make some money Maybe get some free ice cream. So yeah, we've got all these paper die cut signs and such. Look at those, those are cool. Got three of those. More ice cream. Got some of those. Some pistachio or something type of ice cream there. Uh, chocolate. That's kind of cool. Uh, vanilla, uh, some more French vanilla by the looks of it. Apple pie a la mode. There's a bigger one with a, kind of a banana split sort of thing. And uh, some more other ones here. And a big boy here. That's kind of cool. And oh, here's... 
I've got a few of these. Oh, that's kind of cool, pink ice cream. Then I got some coffee, a coffee bag, three ring coffee. That's kind of neat. Some of these I don't know if he'll be interested in, but those are kind of cool. That's a neat paper label or paper sign. More ice cream. We got a hot chocolate. There. There, another one. More chocolate. We got all kinds of kinds of these. Hopefully you're not bored with this. If you are, just fast forward or whatever. Another one there. Cottage cheese on on pineapple. Got some avocado, I guess. Or no, melon, I guess. That's what that is. Yeah, so I got a whack of these. All different, or a lot of different ones. Um, yeah, I got a whole ton of them. Anyway, it should do okay at $5 a piece. Something like that, or $5 Canadian, that is. And what I'm going to do is go through the envelope next. So this bargain bag of uh, paper product cost me $5. So there's 50 items in there, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that was what it was, was 50. Or no, group of, yeah, 50 different items. Um, some of these might have little flaws on them or something like that. So what they're not uh, the highest grade or whatever that he had, but uh, or stuff that he's wanted to clear out. So I got all kinds of labels and stuff that could be good to frame up. Oh, got another one there. That's Golden's Blue Ribbon. That'll be a um, cigar label, some kind. A little crease on the corner. That's probably why it's in there. Rudolph Valentino. Yeah, little ding on the corner there. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. Country Club Sweet Cider. Spirit of St. Louis. I think that's for a broom or something like that. I'm not sure. That's neat. Uh, let's see. Grand Fine Spirits of some kind. Uh, Georgina Made. Georgia Made. Sorry, Sweet Pickles. That's kind of neat. I think some of these I can frame up and... Uh, Sell them that way. Sparkling Beverages brand. There's a broom label. And here's a big uh, Victorious Louisiana Yams. So kind of neat cowgirl graphic on it there. But uh, I guess that's why it's got a little damage on it. So that's why it's in the bargain bin. Skookum Apples. These are from the US of course a friend of mine is from BC that always uh, uses that term skookum I gave them one of these years ago but uh, just kind of goes to show how many the fellow that has these has because I bought them probably 15 years ago <laughs> I bought one or 20 years ago anyway <clears throat> excuse me uh, Chandler brand turpentine like Wenernachi apples. So neat some neat apple labels, fruit labels, so top oh I see this one's got some damage on the corner, yeah. Top card. That one's kind of coming apart a bit. That one's probably not gonna be much good, but long distance chewing or smoking tobacco. That's kinda of cool. A little different. Cinderella Face Beautifier, Dr. Bloomer's well-known face beautifier. Lincoln Chemical Works, oh boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Twin Lights Beverages label. Distillers Marked Bourbon Whiskey. And Dinner Gong Apples. Let's see, Sealed Pep, Waverly Citrus Growers Association, Black Joe Juice Grapes, so a bit of Black Americana there, yeah, uh, Inf Infidel Juice Grapes, so I guess for making wine, 
Uh, bottled romance. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Bottled romance, yeah. American grape wine. So alcohol, 20% by volume. So fairly high, uh, high um, alcohol content there. Uh, Dr. Linus Massage Cream. That's kind of neat. Safe Hit. Well, that's kind of cool. Safe Hit Texas Vegetables. That's neat. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder. Hmm. Might have a customer for that one. Little Brown Jug Syrup. Little Brown Jug Products. And we've got a bunch of, uh, Stamps here, double D discount stamps, whatever they're from. Uncle John's Cane and Maple Syrup, Boston, Massachusetts. And we got what? Hoghead Apple Wine. I don't know if I'd want to eat, drink that. <laughs> Hoghead. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Mermaid brand sardines. Oh, just what you need. That's kind of cool. New Albany Coca-Cola Works. Coca-Cola bottling paper. Queen Isabella Apple Cider. Kind of neat. Troika Vodka. Out of Kentucky. Chipico Sweet Pickles. The Native American graphic in the corner. Atlas Tonic Mixer. So even if I sold these all for a dollar each, I would be doing ten times my money. So I'd be doing quite well, wouldn't I? Anyway, uh, JSI All Green Asparagus. Label. Schuling Old Time Bach Beer. Peanut Butter, Vern Hampshire. That's kind of neat. And Yankee Doodle Draft Root Beer. So Kind of a lot of the U.S. ones had some really neat, neat graphics and such. And there was, of course, because of the population in the states, there's a lot more product that was made there. Uh, Vin Rouge, so table wine, some kind. Another Boar's Head apple wine. At least it's not Hog's Head. Sterilizer, sterilize for your protection. So. Hmm. Whatever was wrapped in that was sterilized, apparently. Pinto California Vegetables. Neat cowboy graphic. Honey Sweet Watermelon Rind. Watermelon Rind? Is that a thing in the States? Guys, let me know. Pickled Georgia Watermelon Rind. People actually eat watermelon rind, folks? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever heard of that? Watermelon rind? I don't know. Seems kind of disgusting to me, but whatever. Uh, Kermis Vergude. Some more wine. Wine label. Clem's Cola. Clem Bottling Company. So, Clem's Bottle. Oh, no, no more. Oh, Glen Ale. Glen Brewing Company. Bay Rum, Standard Bay Rum, that's kind of a neat, it contains 37% alcohol. It's Moz for mixing Lime Ricky. That's kind of neat. Uh, Ye Ye Man Salmon label, that's kind of cool. Chinook Packing Company, Chinook Washington. Pine Mountain. Mineral water. And last but not least, Three Bears American Red Grape Wine. That's kind of a odd subject matter for wine, but anyway, kind of cool. So anyway, that's what I got, folks. Uh, grand total, all of that stuff cost me, uh, let's see, $64.75, including... Um, shipping because there was $25 shipping, a flat fee for shipping. So really it cost me $40.75 US. Uh, but all in all, $64.75 total. So I'll make money. I'll be doing just fine. Uh, that's about, I think about $80 or so, maybe $90 Canadian, something like that. 
So yeah. Anyway, so that's what I got, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.